What's up guys, one of the main questions I get asked a lot about is editing techniques. So today we're gonna to go over one of those ed editing techniques that I love to use. That technique is editing to the beat. So as an editor or video creator, you wanna make sure that your pacing of the video uh, I know the footage that you capture into your final video matches the music, matches the feel and the flow of the video. So when I say editing to the beat, let me talk, talk and show you a little bit more about what I mean. What's up guys? So the first thing we're going to want to do is head over to art-list.io. You can sort by theme, instrument, genre, uh, spotlight. I don't, I'm going to save you from a whole walkthrough. I'll make a separate video on this. For this example, I'm going to create a new event. So here's libraries, hold events and projects, right? So anyway, stick with me here. We're going over how to edit with a beat, edit to the beat. So in this event, I'm gonna use all this content that's already in there. So just, just, let's just, for this example, create a new event. And, you know, for example, um, edit to beat example. There it is. You can see that new event created there. So right now this event is empty. There's no actual media inside of there. So let's bring in the downloads. There it is. There's the new song that we just selected there. And you can actually swap media in between, um, you know, events if they're under the same library there. So let me just close this. So you got two events here. We're going to use the content within this event with the new event that we just created. All right, anyway, hang with me here. So let's play the song. Pretty intense beat. Um, so let's play the song. I, right now I'm just gonna select the parts of the song I'm gonna use for this example for this video. So play it out. So I'm using I and O to select my in point and out point. Um, so you see that yellow bracket, I pressed I right here as the, as the in point, so now I'm going to select the out point. Alright, pretty hardcore beat. Um, so anyway, I just pressed the I point, the O point for the output, so I'm going to favorite that. Shortcut to drag that into the timeline, this timeline. I'm just going to write down beat example. So this project right here is what you're going to do to manipulate your um, your your edit to create your edit. So that when you double click down on there, down here is where you're going to see your media, right? So a shortcut to bring this down into here is D. Boom. There you go. We got about eight nine seconds for this example. So now I'm going to listen to this again while it's in the timeline and then mark it up. So. Anyway, okay, so you see that now there's purple markers on the timeline here of the of the song. And basically what I'm doing is I'm picking the points where I want my clips to appear, right? I wanna make sure that um, it's going to the beat, it's making the pacing of the video move along and it kind of helps, you know, uh, most viewers don't recognize this, but it's actually like, that's why it's this editing technique is they assume that the video is moving along, so it's flowing so well. That's because we're using this technique. So let's take some clips and bring them into the timeline here. So let's use this example. My buddy Zach messing with his hat right there. Pretty cool shot. So you can see right here the yellow in and out points. I've already selected the in and out points. This is from a previous project. But after you drag that into the timeline, you can see that it goes past this marker. Let's play it when it goes past this marker. Right? It's kind of out, outplayed. It doesn't make sense. So let's play it when it's cut to this beat right there. Cool. Now all we gotta do is just fill up these, these spots and it's gonna flow very smooth. So here's another clip. Drag it down there. Let's make it move out to this beat. Now let's play it again. So you see how the music kind of picks up right at that point. I usually like to use like a really cinematic, maybe a drone shot 
of sorts. Um, the money shot, <laughs> pretty much, right? When the music picks up. So we're gonna fill this with a quick little shot and then a big, um, maybe a drone shot if I can find one. Um, well, here's a nice little drone shot. It's, yeah, that's a good drone shot right there. So we'll use that one right there. We're gonna drag that one in right there for the, for the reveal. I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit. Right there. It's too fast, way too fast. Um, we'll just two exit. So see where the, where the drum roll kind of happens? I'm gonna cut it again. Right there, done. Another cut right there. Use this clip right there. So the edit's starting to pick up a little bit. Then we get a swing shot in there. If it's if we have it, probably not. Oh, this is one of my favorite shots too here. Do this one right here. I want to play that one out a little bit. And again, right now what we're doing is it's all preference. You know, it's just figuring out what you want the bass cuts to be and then kind of reviewing it multiple times to see whether or not it works and whether or not it fits. Um, there is no right or wrong way to this. Uh, it's really all filling it out. But when you do edit to the beat, it keeps the pacing of the video moving and the viewer um, in, intrigued and super engaged. So I'm just gonna finish up this edit a little bit. We'll play it all the way through at the very end. But I hope this gives you a really good sense of how to, how to, you know, where to get music, drag the music into Final Cut Pro 10, and then making sure you put markers on the, that music on when you wanna do the cuts. So that's really the base, base point of it. So let me get back into the edit here. All right, so that's the uh, quick little 10 second edit that we're editing to the beat. I hope this is a great tutorial, and I hope this was very helpful for you to get started on how to edit to the beat. Um, if you have any more questions uh, regarding video, comment. Uh, if this was helpful, give me a like, subscribe. We really appreciate your feedback and uh, your support. So uh, keep on creating and I'll talk to you guys next time.